Hi, my name is Joanna Wickman, and I'm the manager of the La Quinta Museum. And I'm here to talk a little bit about our newest exhibit called A Stitch in Time, uh, which is up through June 30th. And it tells a little bit about the history of quilting, uh, all the way back to the Middle Ages, where quilting was used in gambesons, which was sort of a medieval armor, uh, all the way through modern day quilting with various patterns and different styles of quilting. Uh, behind me here, is a tobacco felt quilt. And this quilt dates from the 1920s or a little bit earlier. Uh, but at the turn of the century, when you bought cigarettes or tobacco, it would come with sort of a prize, kind of like a Cracker Jack prize. And each one of these squares was a prize. And so the lady who made this collected all of these flags and stitched them together into a quilt. And they also would print out uh, tobacco felts, which this is a felt here, a single square, and uh, prints with flags, animals, famous people, all different kinds of things, and they could also be made out of silk, although this quilt is made out of flannel. How interesting. This is all hand stitched too, isn't yes, it? Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Entirely hand done. And uh, you told me before some of them were upside down. <laughs> yes, a few of the flags uh, up here are upside down, uh -huh. so well, um, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, what else would you like to show us? Uh, well, I'll take you over to uh, another quilt we have on display. This one's sort of a dizzying quilt. Uh, this is called a kaleidoscope quilt. And the interesting thing about this is this is a modern quilt uh, from 2006, but it's based off of a pattern from 1910. My goodness. And this one is made entirely by hand crank and treadle sewing machines. So there is no electric sewing machines used in the making of this mm -hmm, quilt. Mm -hmm. And it took about a year to construct. My goodness. And how, how were all those squares done so perfectly? <laughs> well, it's sort of a, a, a mathematical quilt. Mm -hmm. um, the quilter saw a photograph of the original quilt from 1910 and decided she wanted to make one. And so from that photograph, she determined the sizes that each of these blocks would need to be mm -hmm. in order to give it the optical illusion kaleidoscope effect. And so she stitched them that way, and each block is slightly flared at the end mm -hmm. and rounded, which mm -hmm. helps also give it the yeah. kaleidoscope effect. It feels like you could fall into the black <laughs> hole, doesn't it? Yeah. It's sort of like a twilight yeah. zone. That's wonderful, very unusual, very unusual. Something else? Um, oh, right next to it here is a uh, example of the Sunbonnet Sioux overall Sam quilt, um, which many people might recognize. This was a really popular pattern uh, during the Great Depression. And one of the reasons it was popular is that can, it can be made from scraps of fabric. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the overalls and the shirts and everything don't need to necessarily match. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was a very cost-effective form of quilting. This quilt was also entirely handmade, mm -hmm. and it's uh, dated to about 1949. Mm -hmm. Very traditional, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Here's a non-traditional one. <laughs> and what is this? Does this one have a name? Uh, this one is creatively titled "Early Bird Gets the Worm." Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. And, and look one, what we have here. This one was designed to be a wall hanging as opposed to a bed cover. Mm -hmm. A wonderful flock of roosters. And the interesting thing about um, the roosters as well is this, all this white fabric is one solid piece. Oh, and so the illusion of the feathers and the wings is created entirely through stitching. So the, the white piece is one and then the... Uh, coxcombs and beaks and beards or whatever they right. are are added to it. How right. how interesting. And we have the worm. A very scared worm. And is that the hole down yes, there? Yes, uh -huh. the worm's little home. Getting ready to get retreat. To it. <laughs> Wonderful. What a, what a great exhibit. So again, it's uh, going to be here until? Uh, a Stitch in Time will be on display through June 30th. Wonderful. At the La Quinta Museum. Thank you very much. Thank you.